Um, I think it is. Hold on. There we are. Okay. I think it's useful for specific people who um, don't understand what they're reading. Because when I was doing my foundation labs, the, a lot of the stuff that I was reading, like the instructions they was telling me, it was kind of hard to understand what they were saying because it was like I was reading it. But it's kind of more easier when, you know, you got somebody explaining it to you. But at the same time, for certain people who have more a more advanced level, it would be more, you know, beneficial to use my foundation lab instead of sitting there, you know, listening to somebody. Because a lot of stuff I was listening to just now, I'm like, you know, it would have been more, you know, useful if I was reading it. You know, I could have got through it quicker and it would have been a lot easier because I understood already what they were saying. And, you know, but it just it just varies on who it is, you know, taking the test. Mm -hmm. So for specific people, I would say, yeah, it's very helpful and useful. But for others, I would say, you know, other programs and, and tools could be more useful. Hmm. And when he says specific people, what he's meaning is, is, is levels. People have different levels. Um, some, like when I was back there um, doing it, I noticed that it, um, it goes into depth and detail um, more so, so it explains, it breaks down um, what a, a verb is or a noun or um, imperative um, sentence. And a lot of that stuff, a lot of um, our youth do not know or understand. Um, and um, like they understand what they're reading, like they know how to read and understand a lot of the material, but they don't understand how to depict the information um, and how to get the answers. And that's what that program actually can help them with. Um, I think it'll actually boost their levels um, in a way. Um, like you said, for certain individuals um, who need that extra step, maybe an hour, um, throughout the day on that because uh, each lesson is like 25 minutes um, but it's it's a process they have um, it would be beneficial for um, more advanced individuals once it get to that level that point because it goes by levels um, it has what is it um, easy medium and difficult um, and so once it gets to the more medium range, it'll be beneficial um, for the broader, um, the whole program hmm. coming in. Anything else you'd like to add, Mr. Cronin? Mm. Not really. No. Mr. Mr. Johnson? Um, I just think uh, you should give it a try. Um, get maybe a couple individuals that's um, willing to, I guess, take that step forward and try something new that can possibly better um, help them um, and further them in their education because it's a permanent program. Uh, yeah, permanent and I also program. would like to add that I feel like um, when I was going through the program, I wanted to like, I mean, the you know, the tool, I wanted to skip past certain things because I felt like I already understood that what they was trying to teach me but it's like you gotta start from one and then go all the way up to ten so you can't just skip all the way to ten mm -hmm. so for those more advanced people they gonna have to go through the basics all over again and then get to where they at I feel like you should just be able to skip to that point that you at let's call them and find out whatever you whatever your questions are I like the off man the foundations I ain't use the Say again now. The my foundations. Mm -hmm. Right? It's between the my foundations and the other one, right? Mm -hmm. The little yellow one. I don't really like the yellow one because it's like, it's all dull and stuff. And then when you go in there, it's like, when you first go in there, it's like, it's a GED website. You know, my foundations, they got people smiling on the front page and stuff. You feel me? It's like more attracting, is what I'm saying. You already don't want to be doing it, you know, like, oh, I got to do this. At least my foundations make you feel like, all right. Maybe I, I will do this. There's, it's like, I don't know, it's just like robot, basically. Like, it's not, you know what I'm saying? You don't get what I'm saying? It's mm. like, it's like, robot is like a machine that, uh, 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 you know, mm. doing a 
a certain thing, my foundations is like, they may call you, hey, Jay, you know, like, in the introduction, Jay, we're willing to work, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. they more direct, I don't know. I just like it better. It's more personalized, is that what you're Yeah. Hmm. And it's not like a robot, like. Hmm. Anything else? Uh, that's about it. What did you do with it? With the uh, the other <clears throat> one, mm-hmm. I did a few math problems. I just mm-hmm. I got into a math lesson. I didn't finish it. I don't think I finished it. I just got into the math lesson and uh, went through and stuff. Why didn't you finish it? Because you said like, because my direction was to see which one I like better, and it was just like a given. It wasn't hmm. even like I gotta finish the the lesson because it was like. It don't compare to my foundations. Hmm. Instantly. Interesting. But I did go in and click around and I joined the lesson to see how they approached it to stuff. Mm-hmm. Um <clears throat> Can you do one more test? Yes. There's a portion in the test called Money Essentials. Mm-hmm. Could you just give us maybe about twenty five minutes, just pick around at that and see what you think about that? Money's Essentials feature. All right. Uh, thank you very much. All very and it's right, right. It's visible. It. You'll have to let me know if it's not. Because right. you know what I'm saying. Tell us what you think. Well, so far, I um. Well, I only did one part, which was budgeting. Can't hear you. Budgeting. Budgeting. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think it's very useful to teach people how to budget their money and be responsible with it. Mm-hmm. So, for a person that really don't budget like that, you know, they can like, come across a situation they could they could have avoided if they would have started budgeting. Mm-hmm. So, in that sense, yes, it's very helpful. And um, for me personally, it wasn't helpful, but it could have been if I didn't budget. Because mm-hmm. I'm a budgeter. I've always been budgeting my whole life. So, yeah, it, it can be very useful. Mm-hmm. Very. Mr. Johnson? Um, from the way I'm utilizing it and the areas I'm utilizing it in, um, I think it's very useful, very helpful. Because um, some of the stuff I kind of forgot, and uh, it just reminded me, like, hey, you need a refreshing up on this. Uh, so. Um, even for advanced individuals, it's very helpful because some stuff that um, you may have forgotten, you know, it's there to refresh you. Um, it's not so much there to teach you. It, um, it's just a refresher for some individuals. And for some, it's there to teach you and mold you and help you grow. Um, so, yes, I think it's very helpful. Is this a program based on your experience? How much, if you had 100%, how much my foundation should we do? How much essentials should we do? Essentials, I think you should probably do 85%, and then the My Foundation Labs would be the other 15%. I would say about uh about eighty twenty, eighty percent uh you know what what was the name Essential? of Essential? Essentials, yes. And the other twenty would be my foundations. Now why do you say that? Because I would say it's more people that need um help in the essentials department than the my foundations at the moment. Hmm. The my foundation is a little more challenging and direct as to where the essentials, it breaks down a lot more. Um, it gives more information, and um, it's just a better tool to help um, people understand the material. Also, I would say um, essentials helps understand my foundations more. Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would say if you if you didn't understand my foundations, if you don't like, if you have a hard time doing any work on there start with essentials first and that could definitely help you in my foundation areas. And not only the my foundation areas but the actual GED testing as well. Um, Both programs are 
good at helping you um, learn and um, kind of uh, store all of the information to prepare you for the actual test. So. Interesting. I uh, judged uh, it before I uh, used it fully. Hmm. Yeah, so I took the 25 minutes you said, and I uh, went in and did a little lesson and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They seem more uh, into you learning. Like, like, okay, so I failed the practice test or whatever, the little quiz, and I chose to go back. So as I went back, they had a whole nother lesson in a whole different form for the same thing they just taught me the first time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they taught me one way, I failed. So I said I wanted to do it again, right? And they had a whole different way of going at mm. like, teaching me, right? Mm -hmm. And then like they changed the people. Like mm. it ain't just like one. <laughs> it ain't just one person like this. Mm. It ain't just one person that's just talking to you like in a robotic voice. Like mm -hmm. you know, on a computer they be like the robotic voice. They got mm -hmm. like real people like talking to you as if you are sitting in the classroom. Mm -hmm. It's real direct. I like it, honestly. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> oh, oh. I see. You was hating on it, earlier. Yeah, I was. Yeah. This is crap. Give me yeah. my foundations lab. Yeah. I see. Just by the look. Mm -hmm. when, when you get deeper into it, they spend more time on the lessons instead of spending more time on, the, like, the picture, you know what I'm saying? Like, my hmm. foundations. And then they got the this website. Hmm. My foundations is, oh, my foundations. And then you got this one, which is, like, my foundations and then it's like way bigger when you get into it i don't know how to explain it it's like, i see it's like i understand know, what you're saying a chocolate chunk cookie and a chocolate mm -hmm. chip cookie yeah one hard one soft mm -hmm. right okay <laughs> good i appreciate your uh